In this video, you will learn how to change the aperture on your Nikon D5200. I'm going to take you through the P, S, A and M modes and show you how to adjust your aperture in each of those modes. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Barry Callister of Photographer's Freedom, taking you from beginner to better to business. At photographersfreedom.com and right here on my YouTube channel, you will find photography tutorials, camera gear reviews, photography business tips and more, all designed to help you no matter where you are in your photography journey. Subscribe if you like the sound of that and ding that notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. If you watch all the way to the end of this video, you will be rewarded with some advice on the best aperture to use for landscape photography in order to get the whole scene in focus and a much sharper image. You don't want to miss that. We're going to start with P mode or programmed auto mode. So turn your mode dial to P. In this mode, the camera automatically adjusts shutter speed and aperture in order to give you the best exposure in most situations. This doesn't mean that you don't have some control though. If you rotate the command dial to the right, you will get larger apertures indicated by lower f-stop numbers. If you rotate the dial to the left, you will get smaller apertures indicated by larger f-stop numbers. Of course, when you do this, your shutter speed also changes in order for the camera to get a good exposure. Moving on to S mode or shutter priority mode. In this mode, you choose the shutter speed and the camera then adjusts the aperture in order to achieve correct exposure. So you can see that when I rotate the command dial here, the camera changes the shutter speed first and then the aperture to achieve optimal exposure. If I want to change the aperture to something other than what the camera has chosen, I can most certainly do that. If I hold down the exposure compensation button on the top of the camera here, you can see I can now change the aperture to whatever I like. The exposure is becoming brighter though and that's something that you have to keep in mind. Turning the mode dial to A now, we are choosing one of the easiest modes in which to change aperture. This is aperture priority mode. All you have to do to change the aperture in this mode is rotate the command dial. Turning it to the left will give you a wider aperture and turning it to the right will give you smaller apertures. Lastly, we have M or manual mode. To adjust your aperture while in manual mode, all you have to do is hold down the exposure compensation button and rotate the command dial. Rotating it to the left will give you wider apertures and rotating it to the right will give you smaller apertures. If you want to learn more about Aperture, watch my What is Aperture, Aperture and How to Use It video that is linked up in the card above right now. Now you know how to change the Aperture in P, S, A and M modes on your Nikon D5200. But what should you change your Aperture to when taking landscape photos? With landscape photography, you not only want to get the whole scene in focus, but you also want that scene to look sharp or have lots of detail from front to back. Now, if you've watched my video on aperture and how to use it, you will know that wider apertures produce what's called a shallow depth of field. This means that there is much less area of the photo where everything is in sharp focus. Alternatively, smaller apertures produce a deeper depth of field where much more of the photo is in sharp focus. So you might be saying, well, if I want to take a landscape photo and get everything in sharp focus, shouldn't I just then use the smallest aperture my lens will go to? That would seem to be the right thing to do, except for one problem. All lenses produce less detail at their widest and smallest apertures. The sharpest aperture of any lens is usually somewhere around f8. So next time you're photographing a landscape, set your aperture to somewhere between f8 and f11. Focus on something about one third of the way through your scene and you should get everything in focus. If you had a good time watching this video today, you might want to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking subscribe and ding the notification bell. 
You might also want to sign up for my mailing list. If you do so via the link in the description below, you will receive a free copy of the PDF from my What is Aperture video explaining the basics of Aperture. Until next time, I'm Barry Callister of Photographer's Freedom. Get out there, take some wicked shots. I'll see you soon. Thank you.